Elizabeth Taylor was the greatest fag hag who ever lived. <laughs> and uh, her main gay was Montgomery Clift. And one night they were at a dinner party in the 1950s. They got real drunk. They left separately. And Montgomery Clift got about halfway down the hill. He gets in a terrible car accident. And Elizabeth Taylor heard it with her extra sensitive fag hag hearing. Because you know when your gay is in trouble. You get... <laughs> like a spidey sense and you can feel when your gay is in trouble. So Elizabeth Taylor hears her gay in trouble. She runs down the hill. She sees Montgomery Cliff bleeding in the street. And she goes to him. She takes her hand, puts it down his throat, pulls out teeth that had been lodged in his throat, saved his life. That is what a fag hag will do for you. <laughs> Right? Put her hand down your throat, pull out teeth, save your life. And Montgomery Clift, no gag reflex. <laughs> Some people are just meant to be friends. Are there fag hags here? Are there fag hags here? Fag hags? Yeah! It's a good line. I don't like the name. I don't like the name. Fruit Fly. Fruit Fly is better because Fruit Fly is like, we're all buzzing around the wine. Like, like Queen, you better give me some wine. <laughs> Fag has, is, it's a historical term. It, it comes from the era, it's a, from like the era of like Armistead Mopin's books, Tales of the City, which is uh, all about San Francisco in the 70s. And so it's a woman who hangs out with gay men, it's a fag hag, and then, uh, a uh, man who hangs out with lesbians is a Dutch boy. Because he wants to put his finger in the dike. <laughs> so these are like historical terms, but I, I, I'm not happy with fag. I, I don't like to say fag, and I don't like to say hag. I'm not flattering. So fruit fly, uh, queen magnet, another one. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a good one. It's cute. It's cute. Um, I think that we uh, really need to call it what it really is. <laughs> widow. Because <laughs> that's what you are. Because you know like when you go out to the gay bar with your friend and it's so fun, you get all done up before and it's like it's fierce and they, you know, they, they do your brows and it's a whole thing. It's so fun. And then you get to the gay bar and it's great until the d***ing hour. <laughs> There's a time where all gay men remember they're gay. Like, oh, I'm gay. I, I need some I need to get some Oh, I forgot I was gay. And like they remember all at once. It's like a natural phenomenon. It's like all the salmon swimming upstream. You know, it's like everybody at one time. Like, oh, I gotta get right now. I gotta get I gotta go. Where did I get You know, they start looking for And then if you're a woman in that situation, there's no reason for you to be there. They're, they, they don't want you. They're like, girl, did you download that Uber app like I told you to? <laughs> and then you are just a widow in that situation. So I need to create a ride share app. It's a widow app where it's just my face on your phone. And if you're in that situation, you just press it and then you know I'll, I'll come pick you up and I'll take you to Kathy Griffin's house.